If Batman doesn't return soon... I know. All bloody hell's gonna break loose. We should work together. He wanted to create the perfect soldier. I was the strongest of them all. I don't trust her. Because I wear this doesn't mean I'm a part of your cult. Call me Batwing. Batwing? That's original. We're just getting started. From here on, it's only family. I like some cheers. 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 Hi, this is Mark Morrell from Toon Barn, and we're here at the Paley Center in New York City for the world premiere of Batman Bad Blood. And I'm here with Travis Willingham, who plays the heretic. That's right, you are. The bad and nasty heretic. <laughs> All right, you're a Dallas fan, aren't you? That's right. I mean, born and born and raised, so I'm loyal to my my home team. Well, I'm, it's hard being a Cowboys fan this year. I'm a Philly guy, so <laughs> I'm an Eagles fan. <laughs> We're in the same water. Yeah. Although you got rid of your head coach, so yeah, yeah. yeah now, now you at least have a chance for something new. <laughs> right. Jerry Jones, why? Anyway. So now that I've warmed you up. Yeah, there you go. Okay. The heretic. Yes. All right. Is he a Damien clone? I mean, I guess fans will have to see. You know, he's wearing the the bat cow, which is interesting he's a bit taller than than batman in the in the mm -hmm. first scene that you see him in and it looks like he lives in a gym 24 7 so i guess they'll just have to find out but uh you know the first few lines that he has hints it quite a bit um so it'll it'll be interesting to see so this this bad blood could really be a lot about you it could it? it could it certainly could it could just be that they loved using the letter b three times yeah yeah all right, so uh, for you, uh, coming into this, uh, is this is this one of your first uh, DC Universe films? Uh, it is, yeah. I've had a chance to you know play a couple supporting characters and some other ones, but this is my first chance at uh, you know being one of the lead heroes or villains. Um, right. And that opportunity is just a, a treasured thing to a voice actor, someone like me, someone who's loved the, the films that have come before, Justice League Doom, Batman and Robin, uh, you know, the Paradox, all, all the Flash movies, they were really great. So being a ch getting a chance to be a villain, and square off against Batman was kind of a little nerd dream come mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's a, uh, a tagline that's going to be taken from this film from from your character? I I don't know. I, I you know, all actors think that each one of their lines is like tagline worthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, I I do like his one of his first lines to Batman is uh, you know Batman asks if he knows him and he says intimately and yet not at all, which just raises uh. a ton of questions. Um, but uh, I really liked delivering something like that, which is a giant question mark to someone like Batman. It was mm -hmm. really great. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, Absolutely. We're looking forward to seeing the world premiere with you. That's right. I'll be in there, front row, right. popcorn and everything. All right. And then uh, it comes out on Digital HD today. That's right. And then on February 2nd on Blu-ray and DVD. Man, you got it. All right. Nice thank you for joining us thank on Toonbar. Appreciate thank it you. very much. You're usually a heroic voice. You, uh, you have voiced Superman in the Lego games and movies. Uh, what's Superman sound like again? He's rather heroic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you voiced Thor for the other guys as well. Yes. Oh, that's got a little British that time. <laughs> <laughs> In this continuity, we haven't really seen a lot of villains team up. And they're not the biggest villains, but together they are stronger. So, you know, the Mad Hatter, Killer Moth, Firefly, they're all villains who never stood a chance with Batman on their own, but together and led by this mysterious new leader who seems to know a lot about Batman. They become a much more potent group of adversaries than they were individually. He wanted to create the perfect soldier. I was the strongest of them all.